All right, Ernie, I'm two places at once. I'm upstairs and I'm downstairs, and I'm going to just talk to you about guarding LeBron James because you got to think of him, one, he's a point guard. He is not a power forward. He's not a center. He's not a small forward. So when he's coming at you, you think of him as a point guard because why? He's coming to get a pick and roll. Six foot nine, 240, he's coming to get a pick and roll. But he, this is, the, this is what he does better than anybody else. He lets you believe that you guarded him, and he starts backing up. But what he really wants to do is come at you to get you on your heels. So if you're the Boston Celtics, when he turns around, this is when you should come and defend and do not allow him the space to run at you. Because once he gets you on your heels, he puts his shoulder in, he's too big, too strong, and finishes at the rim too easily. So you do not want to do that. But shout out to my man Damon Jones for the shooting coach. Because one thing that he has done better is that he shoots the three-point shot. So when he comes back and you start backing so far off, he will let it go from three-point land. His three-point shot is improved tremendously. And this is what separates him from every superstar in the NBA today. Because every single time you do this, he will make this play. You come to double every time he makes that pass. Not once, not twice, every time. If you're in there in the corner, which makes him special, is that he has enough size and strength to throw over the defense without a lob pass. So that if the defense is coming from the baseline, he's strong enough, which I can't even do at times with nobody guarding me, is make a perfect pass from here to the corner without the ball being a lob pass or getting intercepted. So his ability to make that pass every single time separates him. So if you're the Boston Celtics, you have to decide when and how. But the most important thing, I think, is when he starts turning around to back up, you have to come and eat up space. If you do not eat up space, you will not be on your heels. And now you can slide defensively, and you're able to play him better. You're not going to stop him, but you're able to play him better. Guarding LeBron, I made one. <laughs>